Greg Ruff and Austin Selby, the track and field coach here at Trevecan. You're getting a lot of work in these days, huh? Uh, was it five? Is it five weekends in a row you guys are running? Yeah, it's five weekends in a row, a weekend off, and then another one. So I mean, it's it's been busy just a little bit. Well, you just finished with the Vanderbilt uh, Black and Gold event. Just talk about that and who who did well and and maybe who who did better than expected. Oh, uh, it was a it was a really good event. Um, our weather on Friday night was less than stellar. It was rain and uh, and cold, windy. Just wasn't wasn't great. But you know, we still still saw some good performances. Um, you know, Caroline decided to break down the school record in the mm-hmm. in the fifteen hundred. Um, so that was really good. But we we got to debut some people in the fifteen hundred. Brandon Laws, uh, we bumped him up in distance a little bit. And he and Taylor um, had a really good really good uh, fifteen hundred, finishing one two in their heat. And uh, you know the Friday night, I like to separate the Friday nights from the Saturdays and these two-day meets. You can kind of look at them two different ways. Saturday was another really good day. We saw some had some good field event action out of Chris Elliott, uh, long jumping. And mm-hmm. then, once again, had some great 3K efforts from, you know, people like Rachel Mudd and, um, and you know, Willow Moore had a big 30-second PR. And and uh, you know, that was a good day. But then, you know, ultimately, I think the most fun was our, th- our men's 3K record getting broken once and then broken again 15 minutes later. That was that was a lot of fun. So it was a moderate day. We're really high in our training volume right now, uh, and we'll be, you know, for a little, just a teensy bit longer. But, you know, for where we're at in our training and as hard as we're running right now, I was, I was happy with where we're at. Well, then you go to Bellarmine uh, this weekend, and then uh, the UT meet, which is really a, a, a pretty famous meet. Uh, even I've heard of that one. So, and, right, then, yeah. and then you've got conference after that. Just talk about preparing for all three of those. Yeah, truthfully, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the Bellarmine meet. I think they've done an incredible job in setting up a good field. They have a lot of invitational events on Friday night where you have to have run a certain time to get in. Mm-hmm. And, you know, whereas in the past, last couple of years, we we're still working our runners down to there. We have a lot of athletes that are going to run on Friday night, which is a big deal. Um, it's a beautiful facility. It's a well-run meet. We went last year, last second, because Ole Miss canceled their mm-hmm. meet on Tuesday, and we had to find something real fast, and we found one we really liked. So looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, the the Tennessee or volunteer relays, Tennessee relays, I think is mm-hmm. what they call it now. It used to be the Sea Ray relays, yep. and it's a huge event. Um, you know, it's, I've, I've coached at the high school level at that, because there's also a high school component mm-hmm. to that meet. And um, it'll be a good time. A lot of teams out there. Um, the distance races are run under the lights there at, at uh, Tom Black Tracks. Just you know, a lot of a lot of history there as well. Yep. So really looking forward to that. And then you know, conference. We're just trying to put all the pieces together so we can go up there and compete. You know, we'll take our largest numbers of athletes ever before, um, and compete in more events across the board. And I think you know, make the the team component of it a little more exciting, which we're we're really uh, eagerly anticipating. He's Coach Austin Selby, the track and field coach here at Trevecca, and they've got a lot of work ahead of them still. Hope you'll keep up with them at TNUTrojans.com.